Hello, my name is Shreya Skota, and I'm in member services at the Coast Capital Savings Credit Union. I'm here today to talk to you about a few helpful tips regarding your financial well-being. Now, when it comes to personal finances, I usually look at four different aspects. Management, savings, growth, and protection. Now, when it comes to financial management, the main question to ask yourself is, are you spending more money than you're earning? Now, a good way to develop financial discipline is to have multiple checking and savings accounts meant for different purposes. For example, you could have one account for rent, another one for utilities, another one for dining out or membership subscriptions or whatever you feel is important in your life. Um, at Coast Capital, we actually allow you to name your accounts however you like. Some of the unusual names I've seen are emergency, do not touch, or uh, play money, fun money. And this is where you can really get creative into how you want to categorize your expenses. The next step is to save your money. One of the, my favorite quotes by Warren Buffett is that people often save what's left after spending, but instead people should actually spend what's left after saving. After all, a penny saved is a penny earned. Now the next step is growth. This is where you really want to put your money to work and start earning more money for you. Now, this depends a lot on your risk appetite. If you prefer safe and secure investments, I definitely recommend looking at GICs or term deposits, which give you a guaranteed rate of return. Now, there are also some term deposits such as market linked term deposits in which your principal is guaranteed, but you have a potential upside depending on how the market performs. If you're willing to expose yourself to a little bit of risk, then you could consider mutual funds. Now, there are a whole host of mutual funds. You have large cap, small cap, balanced funds, and each one with its own level of risk. And this is where I recommend you speak to a financial advisor to see which mutual fund or which types of mutual funds might interest you. In essence, a mutual fund is where you trust a fund manager to invest your money into a basket of equities. Now, there are a varied level of risk in mutual funds, and this is why I recommend seeking a little bit of advice. Now, if you are okay to try even more risk, you could look at trading in direct equities. Now here you need to look at either a trading platform or a brokerage service in which you can buy and sell stocks. Uh, a few which I could recommend are Hue Trade or Wealth Simple Trade or Interactive Brokers or even the one offered by your financial institution. Now the last aspect of personal finances is protection. Now here the question you wanna ask yourself is what happens if something were to happen to you? Now, life insurance is the most popular type of protection that people seek out in which you get your beneficiary gets paid out a lump sum if you met with some kind of eventuality. However, what's often overlooked is critical illness or disability insurance. Now there is insurance for these kind of conditions and it is essentially it pays out your expenses and loss in, in loss of income if you were rendered unable to work. Now there are a whole different host and variety of products for growing your money and protecting your money. And this is where I recommend taking the time out to actually book an appointment with your financial advisor and exploring what all is there out there. I hope I made you think a little bit about your personal finances. Thank you for your time. Thank you.